We're live outside Durfee High School this hour where we just got an update from the superintendent on the extent of the damage. Also new this hour, we're learning more about a gas leak or the smell of gas actually outside Tansy Elementary School just about five minutes down the road from here where about 290 elementary school students had to be relocated here to Durfee High School in the auditorium. That part of the school wasn't fully affected by the flooding of course and in this past hour we're seeing parents pick up those students. We also want to make sure that viewers no, there was no gas leak inside Tansy and that school is safe again. While students and teachers were still sleeping, water, 50,000 gallons of it, erupted through pipes on the fourth floor of Durfee High School, the science wing, and poured through the building. Fall River Public School Superintendent Matt Malone said it was a catastrophic failure of a pipe. Four feet welled up in the stairways. Uh, uh, that water was then released outside by the fire department, and then we began our recovery efforts. He said it was not caused by the frigid temperatures, followed by the recent thaw. This was a catastrophic failure because of age and the design of the building. Uh, we're a building that, that really is not uh, uh, constructed right for school, quite frankly, uh, and that led to some of the problems with, with shutting off the water today. Malone calling for a new high school built next door to replace this 40-year-old building. As for the cost of the destruction, Malone said that's yet to be determined by the insurance company. The cost to the 2,200 students and some 200 teachers, another day off. The fourth of five built-in snow days already this school year. Still, he said, some of those teachers did show up today. We have teachers that have lost materials. We've lost files. We have computers that have been ruined. We have equipment that's been ruined. This is sad. This is not a good day for us. And moving forward now, Superintendent Malone said they're hoping to rearrange classrooms and block off that section of the building so that they can have school again tomorrow, but that's still not decided for sure. He said he's also going to apply for a waiver to the state for this day, so it's not included in the built-in snow days for this year, but he doesn't expect the state to grant him that waiver. Live in Fall River, I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News.